So I've recently been learning how to rig my characters and I've been trying to learn how to create a set-driven key to uh, deform regions like elbows and, and knees and things like that. And it's taken me a while, but I finally worked out the process. So I thought I'd record it so that I can refer to it and, and also for everyone else to, to learn from. So let's get into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import my corrective blend shape that I made earlier. So I think I want this one. And as you can see, the arm is bent. I just did this in ZBrush. Just going to clean this mesh up a bit. Just assign the Lambert. Okay, now if I move this one over, I now need this arm bent at that amount, which I know is negative 97. So negative 97. And so you can see that the deformation is not very desirable in comparison to this one here. So now I can grab this, hit Control D and Shift P to um, copy and unparent. And then I select all these and then say unlock selected. I can then move this one over. Let's move them both over. Now I need a straight arm version. So I select the control, hit zero. And then if I select the body, control D, shift P again, and then unlock selected. I can then grab this guy, move him over or her. So what I want is this bend, but in the straight arm, uh, position so there should be like a bulge here because when we apply the set driven key to the body this i i don't want the whole arm deforming i i just want the the region that that has been sculpted to deform so to do that we select this one first so th this being the um the undesired uh deformation then the sculpt version and then the uh, straight arm version. So then we can go to uh, deform, blend shape, settings. Uh, these are default, but you wanna set deformation order to parallel and then hit create. So now I can select this one, go to windows, uh, animation editors, shape editor got a bunch of shapes here but the one we want is at the bottom and then what you'll see is that'll bend and then it'll sort of blow up but we want to set this um, top one to negative and it'll be in this order based on your order of selection that we just did and you'll see here that now we have a pretty kind of a weird looking elbow joint so then what I can do is I can delete history on this and I no longer need these two because I have my desired shape. And now I can bring this one over and apply it to the body. So if I select this one and then this one and then say deform blend shape, it'll appear in here. You usually want to name these things. So let's name this left arm corrective and let's name this one left arm corrective blend shape just so you can see that there and so now when I crank this on you can see it deforming but what I really want to do is have it deform at negative 97 and so now we'll see that when I crank this on it, it it adjusts how we want. So you can see it's a much more natural look. But I want this to turn off at this, at this junction. So let's set this back to zero. And I want to uh, select this blend shape. So right click, select blend shape node. And now up here I can select the left arm and then go edit set driven key. And so this is the driven, so this is correct, but we need a driver. And in, in my case, that's this elbow joint just based on how this has been rigged. 
So I select the elbow joint and select load driver. And then it's rotating in rotate Y axis. So let's click rotate Y. And so with the blend shape off and with um, the arm in the default pose, I want to set a key. So I set a key, then I select the elbow joint and rotate it. So back to negative 97. And with the blend shape, I want to turn that on. And then I set another key. And hopefully, if we've done everything correctly, you'll see that it, it turns off as the arm rotates down. Now, I might need to do an in-between because that's a little bit odd. But at the same time, it might work. Um, but yeah, we have a much nicer deformation from point A to point B than what we had before. Uh, with just the skinning. So yeah, that's the process.